Hi there, Mr. Automation is back and this time with the short demo again on parameters and this time the validate set and how to use that. Uh, so with the validate set you can validate the input that the user uh, puts in, right? Uh, so you expect some values and based on that your function or your script runs, right? And if you stick in a wrong value uh, you don't want the script to continue basically. So you get some free validation here, you know, from PowerShell. And uh, validate set for instance, I do now some strings, you can do integers as well, I will give a demo on integers as well. Uh, or ranges for instance, uh, but this is now for strings, so for instance I have an input now. Uh, and it uh, accepts def, test, acceptance and production, and I call it environment, right? And inside of my uh, function or inside of your script, doesn't matter, you do something uh, based on that input, right? Switch on the environment, and if it's def, you do some def functions, and if it's test, you know, that's sort of a framework. Now let's see that in action, so if we now call this test function and we give it an environment, right, it's a mandatory switch, right, set on mandatory environment, right, environment, and then we stick in a value, for instance we do def, and we press F5, now we run the script, and you see there, down, that runs fine, that seems to be uh, perfect, see, that runs fine, see, building def and you see, so it's, it comes in that block. So now if you run it with acceptance, for instance, or ACC, it runs as well as expected, and it comes in this block, you see, building ACC. And uh, we do another example with PRD, for instance. You see, and now building PRD, so it's calling that as well. The, uh, ignore the zero, by the way, there. That's my, I have another function that's called as well. Uh, it's called test, so that's called under the hood as well. Um, so, and now I'll stick in a wrong value, right, to see the value uh, of this parameter, right? Uh, so, uh, I misspell dev, or I do development, right? I don't know how the script works, so I, think I stick in development, and I press enter, and I run the script, and it immediately fails, because it fails here, on the parameter. It does not validate on, on what the user uh, put as value, right? And it needs to be one of those. Right, dev test acceptance production. If it's not, then you get right the exception here below. You see the development, the argument development. You know, I specified that here does not belong. You see, here does not belong to the set. And I will size this up a little bit, perhaps that makes it a little bit more readable. I'll size it up a little bit. Yes, you see, development does not belong to dev test acceptance or production. You see, so the validate set. Supply it blah, blah 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 blah, but that means that this whole switch block, your whole function is not, not executed. So, again, a uh, nice parameter. I use this a lot mandatory and validate set that combination uh, to validate uh, some specific input. You know, uh, if you have some restrictions there, you can do it this way. Um, let's see, I s provided the wrong value that went fine. Uh, do I need to explain this? No, that's the parameter, that's the switch statement. I explained that. And then here we output, uh, uh, honestly, uh, write host, but the use write output, right? That really creates an object. Write host just sort of echoes to the screen. It's more of a texting uh, based uh, approach, so to speak. So, script still fails, you see. I need to provide a parameter here. So, if I do ACC again, it works. If I stink nothing in, by the way, if I just run the test function, it's mandatory, you see. It prompts me below what do you want, you see. And if you do like environment here, you see auto tap confusion. I do tap and I do space and I start uh, I start typing. For instance, def, you see, that's recognized. ACC, you see, PR, you see, that's all recognized. And then you can stick that value in. So that's another uh, benefit of the uh, validate set because when you try to run your script, all your function PowerShell looks inside of that, remember, and it knows. You see that def is there as a valid argument and PRD as well. So I will make this script work again and then I'll post it on YouTube. Okay, that was it. Uh, how to use a validate set inside of your function or PowerShell script. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye bye.